Rule 99. Adoption and Custody of Minors. New Rule on Adoption, effective August 22, 2002. Section 1. Venue. A person desiring to adopt another or have the custody of a minor shall present his petition to the court of first instance of the province, or the municipal or justice of the peace court of the city or municipality in which he resides. In the city of Manila, the proceedings shall be instituted in the Juvenile and Domestic Relations Court. Section 2. Contents of Petition. The petition for adoption shall contain the same allegations required in a petition for guardianship, to wit. a. The jurisdictional facts. b. The qualification of the adopter. c. That the adopter is not disqualified by law. d. The name, age, and residence of the person to be adopted and of his relatives of the persons who have him under their care. e the probable value and character of the estate of the person to be adopted. Section 3. Consent of Adoption. This shall be filed with the petitioner written consent to the adoption signed by the child, if 14 years of age or over and not incompetent, and by the child's spouse, if any, and by each of its known living parents who is not insane or hopelessly intemperate or has not abandoned such child or if there is no such parents by the general guardian or guardian ad litem of the child, or if the child is in the custody of an orphan asylum, children's home, or benevolent society or person, by the proper officer of such asylum, home, or society, or by such person, but if the child is illegitimate and has not been recognized, the consent of its father to the adoption shall not be required. If the person to be adopted is of age, only his or her consent and that of the spouse, if any, shall be required. Section 4. Order for Hearing. If the petition and consent filed are sufficient in form and substance, the court, by an order reciting the purpose of the petition, shall fix a date and place for the hearing thereof, which shall not be more than six months after the entry of the order, and shall direct that a copy of the order be published before the hearing at least once a week for three successive weeks in some newspaper of general circulation published in the province, as the court shall deem best. Section 5. Hearing and Judgment. Upon satisfactory proof in open court on the date fixed in the order that such order has been published as directed, that the allegations of petition are true, and that it is a proper case for adoption and the petitioner or petitioners are able to bring up and educate the child properly, the court shall adjudge that thenceforth the child is free from all legal obligations of obedience and maintenance with respect to its natural parents, except the mother when the child is adopted by her husband, and is, to all legal intents and purposes, the child of the petitioner or petitioners, and that its surname is changed to that the petitioner or petitioners. The adopted person or child shall thereupon become the legal heir of his parents by adoption and shall also remain the legal heir of his natural parents. In case of the death of the adopted person or child, his parents and relatives by nature, and not by adoption, shall be his legal heirs. Section 6. Proceedings as to the child whose parents are separated. Appeal. When husband and wife are divorced or living separately and apart from each other, and the question as to the care, custody, and control of a child or children of their marriage is brought before a court of first instance by petition or as an incident to any other proceeding, the court, upon hearing the testimony as may be pertinent, shall award the care, custody and control of each such child as will be for its best interest, permitting the child to choose which parent it prefers to live with if it be over ten years of age, unless the parent so chosen be unfit to take charge of the child by the reason of moral depravity, habitual drunkenness, incapacity, or poverty. If, upon such hearing, it appears that both parents are improper persons to have the care, custody, and control of the child, the court may either designate the paternal or maternal grandparent of the child, or his oldest brother or sister, or some reputable and discreet person to take charge of such child, or commit it to any suitable asylum, children's home, or benevolent society. 
the court may in conformity with the provisions of the civil code order either or both parents to support or help support said child, irrespective of who may be its custodian, and may make any order that is just and reasonable permitting the parent who is deprived of its care and custody to visit the child or have temporary custody thereof. Either parent may appeal from an order made in accordance with the provisions of this section. No child under seven years of age shall be separated from its mother, unless the court finds there are compelling reasons thereof. Section 7. Proceedings as to vagrant or abused child. When the parents of any minor child are dead, or by reason of long absence or legal or physical disability have abandoned it, or cannot support it through vagrancy, negligence, or misconduct, or neglect or refuse to support it, or treat it with excessive harshness or give it corrupting orders, counsels, or examples, or cause or allow it to engage in begging, or to commit offenses against the law, the proper court of first instance, upon petition filed by some reputable resident of the province setting forth the facts, may issue an order requiring such parents to show cause, or, if the parents are dead or cannot be found, requiring the fiscal of the province to show cause, at a time and place fixed in the order, why the child should not be taken from its parents, if living, and if upon the hearing it appears that the allegations of the petition are true, and that it is order taking it from its parents, if living, and committing it to any suitable orphan asylum, children's home, or benevolent society or person to be ultimately placed, by adoption or otherwise, in a home found for it by such asylum, children's home, society, or person. Section 8. Service of Judgment. Final orders or judgments under this rule shall be served by the clerk upon the civil registrar of the city or municipality wherein the court issuing the same is situated.